This has to be the most mind-blowing thing I've ever seen this year and probably for the rest of the year. So all these videos that you're seeing have actually been generated by artificial intelligence. Can you believe it? None of this is real. It never existed until there was text and that text was converted into video. It's incredible. It's a new tool called Sora, which is part of OpenAI, the creators of ChatGPT. Just look at how perfect most of these shots are. Now, of course, there are slight imperfections, but very negligible. The frame rate is incredible. The motion is smooth. The camera motion is amazing. The lighting is cinematic and the objects are moving in a way that is basically something that we see in a real world. It worked incredibly so well for most of these shots and I am so excited to see where this is heading. Now, do you know what this means? It means we can finally remake the last season of Game of Thrones and make it better this time. And instead of spending $10 million per episode, you could just spend probably not more than $5,000. This also means we can finally remake the last Star Wars movies, The Last Jedi and The Rise of Skywalker. Of course, that doesn't mean you own the IP. You can create it and watch it for yourself, but there is a huge potential for original content. You can turn your stories into movies in any style you want, animation, live action, a mix of both, I mean, can you even begin to imagine what future streaming services are going to look like? You're going to log in into your Netflix account or Disney Plus or Apple Plus or any other platforms that continue changing their names. And there's going to be a special section, generate your movie. So once you click on generate your film, you're going to just write a prompt on the plot of the film. You're going to choose the director's style. You can choose uh, in the style of Christopher Nolan in the style of George Lucas, in the style of Ridley Scott. You can simply choose the style and it will create it in the same style. Then you are going to choose the actors. It could be existing real life actors who provided license to their faces to these AI generative tools, or it could be completely newly generated AI actors who are part of AI casting agencies. What's even more amazing is that you could probably just upload a picture of you and your friends and ask AI to generate a full movie where you are the cast. You can upload a sample of your voice, it will be cloned, it will be used throughout the film. Then it's gonna ask you to choose the length of the film, the music style, you customize everything and come back within two or three hours, the whole film is generated for you by artificial intelligence. Everything is done. Then you're gonna see two options. The first option is if you just wanna watch it for yourself and keep it saved with you, or if you wanna share it with the community, share your film with the community. So that means other people who have subscription with these streaming services will be able to see the film. You could share it for free, you could share it for a certain price where people who are interested in watching your AI generated film will pay to watch it. It could be like one, two dollars, not bad. You could also share it as part of a revenue sharing model with you and the streaming service. The future is gonna be different, so different. I'm gonna tell you a lot of other things that this is going to change. So the first thing that this is gonna change is filmmaking. Filmmaking is gonna be much cheaper than ever before. The film that costs 150 or 250 million dollars is gonna cost now five thousand dollars, ten thousand if you wanna create incredible quality. But seriously, you're gonna save a lot of money on producers, actors, casting, casting agency fees, lighting, and so many steps that require a lot of money. All just by writing the text of what kind of shot you are looking for. It's amazing. AI generated video is going to change the game because it's going to speed up the production. I mean, do you remember how much money they spent to remove the mustache from Superman last time? Because, uh, well, Henry Cavill was busy working on Mission Impossible. Here, you don't like the shot, rewrite the text, rewrite the prompt, engineer it better, adjust the lighting in the text, and you know, it, the shot is gonna be adjusted. It's amazing. It's gonna save a lot of time, it's gonna save a lot of money, and you will end up with the right shot just the way you like it. A lot of people go to universities to study animation and filmmaking, that's all about to change. We're gonna see three types of filmmakers. First of all are the ones who prefer traditional filmmaking, like Christopher Nolan. He'll say, you know what, this is too much, I'm not gonna embrace it, I'm not gonna use it. And we're gonna see 
filmmakers who will integrate this into their traditional filmmaking style, like Steven Spielberg. When he discovered that uh, animation is going to replace stop motion, he immediately embraced it, he put a lot of money on it, and it became the thing that we see and love now. And finally, we're going to see filmmakers who will completely rely on AI to generate their content, which is totally fine, totally acceptable, as long as you really create something engaging and wonderful and watchable. All they have to do is learn how to engineer the prompt. And so, because the filmmaking process is going to change, film schools will also have to adapt to this kind of change. But one of the biggest things that I'm really excited about is that this is probably the end for stock footage. And a lot of stock footage companies will have to integrate AI generative tools into their websites or they're gonna sink. I would say that as soon as this is perfected, the only people who are gonna use stock footage will be news agencies and TV channels for their documentaries if they want archival footage to talk about real life events. But stock footage as we know it for general videos and documentaries that don't talk about historical events, that's all gonna disappear. It's all gonna be generated with artificial intelligence. Which is good, because you know why? Sometimes the same stock footage is used by multiple creators and multiple channels, and this makes the content look so repetitive. Everybody's using the same stock footage. It's like you're watching the same video, just reorganized differently. Now, no, everybody is going to just generate their own video. All you have to do is just write the proper text to get the right footage. Now keep in mind, AI does not generate the same thing twice because every prompt is different. You write your prompt differently than the way I will write my prompt. And that's why content creation will be taken into the next level. The competition will be huge. And the only ones that are gonna make it in content creations are the ones who will upgrade their content quality by really learning how to design the perfect prompt that will create that incredible cinematic shot. So one of the things that I'm really excited about when it comes to AI generative content is that you don't need expensive hardware to render animations and visual effects anymore. You will just write the text and, and some hardware somewhere else is taking care of the procedure for you. That means you could generate an entire film in your laptop. You don't need an expensive machine. Now, honestly, for me, I have a big machine which has three graphics cards, uh, three RTX 3090. It's really heavy, it's 40 kilograms. It doesn't give me that flexibility to work on anything I want, wherever I want. If I want to create a film where I need to create original animations and visual effects, I need to be right there with the machine. If I use a remote service where I can access the machine, there is some lagging, all right? And that's not really good. So I have to be next to the machine. It's a bulky machine. So if you can do this in your laptop from any place in the world, it's amazing. It's gonna be movies that will come out from remote areas that we haven't even heard of. And I cannot wait to see where this is going. Now, now of course there is a downside for all of this, which is the rise of misinformation. There's gonna be a lot of misinformation. There is an incredible number of people out there who cannot distinguish between what's real and what's fake, even with the way things look like right now. So think about it when this is perfected, when it becomes indistinguishable from reality. There's gonna be a lot of misinformation and a lot of scamming. Scammers are so smart at really, you know, they're always in the lookout for new tools that they can use. And if they can generate videos from text that would give you a fake service or anything and you know, ask you for payment, a lot of people are gonna fall for it. So I expect that many countries will regulate AI generative tools. The biggest resistance that's gonna happen against AI generative tools will most likely happen in Europe because Europe is resistant to AI so far and they're really careful on how to use it and to what sectors they introduce it. Bottom line is, I am more than excited about where this is heading. In, in probably less than half a year, this is gonna be even more perfect. A lot of content creators uh, are afraid, they are terrified of the fact that, you know, videos can be created and generated. I think it's, it's, it's an overreaction to this incredible technology. Remember, in the end, AI doesn't create everything by itself. There has to be someone behind it to push the buttons and to uh, control the outcome. 
And that person who's going to control the outcome is you, the content creator. So the best way to stand out when it comes to content creation is to really learn these tools aggressively and start using them on your content creation on a regular basis. Um, I cannot wait to see where this is heading. OpenAI, you continue to dazzle us with your incredible tools that I myself use every day. So thank you so much to all the teams around the world that are working on developing these incredible AI tools. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time.